Thank you for purchasing Danby's Elevate, the world's first compact cubby. The following instructions will provide a step-by-step -step guide on how to set it up. To begin, we'll create the drawer component. First, extend the sides by pulling the back panel away from the front of the drawer until the sides are fully extended. At this point, the bottom of the base can now be snapped in with the smooth side facing up. Make sure that you push around the edges of the base of the drawer to snap the 14 connection points into place. Let's now focus on building the pedestal's exterior. We'll first prepare the side and base sections of the pedestal before assembling them together. For each side, attach the ball bearing drawer glides by first sliding the back of each drawer glide into the connection point located at the back interior of the pedestal side. Once this attachment point is locked in, you can then attach the drawer glide to the front by placing the drawer glide's front attachment point into the top of the keyhole shape opening and then pushing it down so that the drawer glide aligns with the back attachment point. Now you can prepare the base of the pedestal by installing the lock. First, turn the base so you're looking at the bottom. You'll notice the attachment point is at the front edge of the base. Attach the locking plate by using the provided screws. Make sure there's no space between the locking plate and the screw's attachment points before starting. This will ensure the locking plate is facing the right direction. Now, let's combine the base and sides of the pedestal's exterior. First, make sure your front of the base and sides are facing the same direction. The base has a lock plate at the front and the side have their drawer glides extend out to the front. Now connect the sides one at a time to the base. To do so, slide the interior wall of the sides toward the base, so that the side edge of the base overlaps the interior of the side walls, and they fit together. Then press down on the base to secure it in place. To attach the drawer, First extend the ball bearing drawer glides from the sides of the pedestal completely. Notice on the inside of each drawer glide there are three pegs and on the exterior of the drawer sides there are three keyhole openings. Align the drawer glides pegs with the keyhole openings on the drawer. Then attach the drawer by placing the larger portion of the keyhole shape over the pegs. Secure the drawer by pressing down. Now let's attach the back exterior wall of the pedestal. Notice on the inside of the wall there are four L-shaped tabs sticking out from the edges. Align these with the attachment point on the back of the pedestal. And once you have, slide the tabs through. Then push the back panel towards the ground to lock the panel into place. Let's add the top to the pedestal now. First. Remove the protective plastic strips from the edges of the interior edge. Now place the top carefully over the rest of the pedestal, pushing down to ensure it clicks into place. Now that the pedestal is built, let's prep the fridge. It's important that you remove the front feet from the base of the fridge and that you screw in the new feet provided with the pedestal. This is a safety measure that will prevent tipping. Adding the feet will also allow you to place the feet of the fridge into the holes in the top of the pedestal, whereby you can push the fridge forward to lock the feet into place. Another safety measure you shouldn't forget is to attach the provided anti-tip bracket to the back of the fridge and pedestal to secure them as one unit. Once this is complete, you're ready to use Danby's patented all-in-one solution for your space. Enjoy!